calling it offensive, stereotypical. You've said that you're going to talk with the Cleveland's owner about this issue. Have you had that conversation? What's your take on this? Well, I have not had the conversation. I, I think it's important to keep a few things in mind. First of all, uh, team logos are fundamentally a local issue. Um, it's up to the club, the owner, uh, to decide what the logo is going to be. I understand that there are some people that are offended by the logo, and I understand why. Uh, but there are also lots and lots of fans who have real affinity for the logo. They're att attracted by the history and tradition associated with it. And all those interests need to be balanced. Um, outside the glare of the World Series, at some appropriate time in the future, Mr. Dolan and I will have a conversation. But it's certainly not a World Series topic. Yeah, and what, what will be success from your standpoint as the commissioner from this World Series? When, you, when all is said and done, regardless of who's the winner, how do you walk away saying this was a really important and a very successful World Series? Well, I think a big part of it is the ratings, the following that we get on TV. Um, I also think impo important is the buzz that's generated around the sport. Um, we have had amazingly positive coverage of this World Series. Uh, the atmospheres in our ballparks have been phenomenal. And I'm hopeful we get a nice long six or seven game series so the excitement really builds. So what kind of growth are you expecting from MLB in the coming uh, five years, let's call it? Well, we're, we would like to think that we'll continue to enjoy annual revenue growth in, in the 5 to 6 percent range. Um, and that's exclusive of, you know, the technology company that we just spun off and, and, and entered into a partnership with Disney. Just in our traditional business, we'd like to think that we're going to grow 5 to 6 percent. And, and that Disney arrangement actually could add to that on top of the 5 to 6 percent revenue gain. We are very excited about our partnership with Disney. Um, we think we have an interesting technology advantage in terms of our ability to stream large amounts of content direct to the consumer. Um, we had a lot of interested bidders. Disney was really the perfect partner for us in terms of um, experimenting with additional over-the-top offerings. Yeah, that's great. And, and particularly with Disney's young audience, it's also important. You know, you know that the, the family part of things at Disney and the cartoons uh, probably is also important for that. Commissioner, let me ask you, I mean, it's all about the fans, right? And over the past few months, Colin Kaepernick's national anthem protest has spread across the NFL as well as the N NBA. You see young kids, you know, looking at Kaepernick and saying, oh, I want to do this. They're doing it in college. Or they're doing it in high school. It has hasn't been a problem for the MLB. Why do you think that is, and what's your take on this controversy? Well, uh, we've been very fortunate. Our players um, have been perfectly um, respectful uh, throughout the national anthem. Uh, we're very glad about that. We think it's appealing to our fans. Um, uh, by the same token, we understand that athletes, like everybody else, has, have a right to express themselves. Right. So, do you think that? that right to express themselves though has actually hurt ratings people are mad uh, listen that's a question that's way too hard for me and mm. really relates to what's going on in another sport um you know i i just don't know enough about um either of the other two sports and their ratings to give you a good answer to that one